guys are all doing well. Today I'm going to be showing you how I did this Avril Lavigne inspired makeup. So if you would like to see that, just keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing that I did is take my foundation. I used the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the color Porcelain. And I just applied that using my Beauty Blender. And I made sure that it's a little damp so the product doesn't like get absorbed by the sponge. A little more on why I'm doing this look. I've been obsessed with Avril Lavigne since I was little. I think the first time I heard her music, I was probably 11-ish. My best friend um, actually gave me her first album CD, and then from there, I've been obsessed ever since. Um, so I kind of blame her for that, but I'm very happy that <laughs> she showed me that because my life is just, has been just inspired by Avril Lavigne and I don't know, it just, it helps me through some tough times sometimes as well. From here, I just took my powder and I just set my eyelids so it would be a good um, matte base to start the eyeshadow. Okay, so for the next step, we are going to be doing some eyeshadow, her famous smoky eye, dark eyeshadow. So the picture, I have a lot of pictures, but I think the one that we are, I'm doing is this one. So she kind of has like the cat eye, dark smoky eye, like all over. And... Honestly, in high school, everyone told me I used to look like her. Even the janitor used to call me Avril instead of my actual name. He didn't even know my actual name. It was pretty funny. Um, but I used to do my makeup like this every single day. So that's probably why. And I always had really bleached blonde hair. And Avril had some blonde hair since like her third album a little bit in her second but mostly third and on and yeah I just loved her look and I just wanted to be her so yeah that's why I've been called Avril a lot in high school okay the next thing is black eyeliner I'm gonna make have to make sure that it's plain black like the blackest black you can get uh, all you're gonna do is put it in your waterline she always does this and then I also added some black eyeliner to the top and I did a little bit of a wing just because my black eyeshadow is not like super super black and I wanted something to make sure that my waterline and like the top of my eyelashes was super pigmented so I added the liner there and I know she doesn't always do this but um, for this look, I believe she did and that's why I added it. Okay, so to complete the makeup look uh, All you're gonna get is some lashes um, She Sometimes has like huge lashes and sometimes some more natural looking lashes But today I did like a more natural I took some lashes and I cut them in half so it would only be like on the outside half of my eye. So all I did is take my glue, put a little bit of glue, and then glued it to the outside. Just gives it more of a, a cat eye look, which I love. And then from there, I just added some mascara to blend all of my lashes together. I actually bought a lot of her Abby Dawn clothes, which is her clothing line. Um, but I recently, like, a couple days ago just sold it all because I wasn't gonna wear it um, but I'm happy that someone else will be able to use it and my mom like this was when I was younger my mom spent like thousands of dollars on it because it, they were kind of expensive like one shirt would be a hundred dollars it was crazy I'm actually wearing this um, shirt that I got from the concert it's the 2022 concert. I really love it. I, I'm so happy she did like the orange and black. It's kind of Halloween, but like 
I really like it. I find it goes really well together. Okay, so to complete this look, I added some extensions. So these are from Zala. I have a video on that if you want to check it out. But I got these in 20 inch. I also dyed the tips orange um, to look like what she did when i went to see her in concert in may 2022 she recently cut her hair super short now which i don't love but she's had long hair for a really long time so i get it she's also had like so many different looks like her first album was like super like short and like orange like an auburn color second album was black and blonde my third album was some um, like very bleach blonde hair with some pink and then she also did blonde with some green and then she went i think she went like super blonde for her fourth and yeah she just had a lot of different hair colors um and styles for her albums and i love this look i love the orange i'm so happy she did that but yeah all you're gonna do is clip in your extensions from bottom to top and that should complete the look all right you guys so that completes the look i hope you guys enjoyed it please let me know in the comments down below if you tried this look i would love to know how it went i actually posted a picture of me dressed up as avril lavigne on my instagram and it'll be right here if you guys want to check it out and if you guys want to also check out my avril lavigne vlog when i went to see her back in may 2022 it'll be up in one of these corners i'm not sure exactly where but that would help me out so much um but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!